from an integrated farming system that combines aquaponics, hydroponics and chicken rearing. The technique allows her to maximize output while saving on water, fertilizer and land. On this week's Smart Farm segment, Dennis Otieno visited Monica Mungai's farm in the county and tells us how the model is helping her do more with less. On her small piece of land in Kiambu, Monica Mungai is redefining modern farming. By combining aquaponics and hydroponics with poultry keeping, she's producing a wide range of crops with minimal resources. I practice doing different varieties of crops, that is uh, both leafy green vegetables as well as horticulture crops. So when we talk about leafy green vegetables, we're talking about spinach, kales, cabbage, uh, dania, and when you talk about horticulture crops, you can talk of the fruity crops like hoho, um, tomato, cucumber. So I'm always open to ideas. I necessarily don't, I, I'm necessarily not limited on doing crops. I'm always open based on the market. Monica says she shifted from traditional soil farming after facing challenges such as diseases, water shortages and the unpredictability of climate change. We used to do farming in soil and then I realized that soil has lots of challenges. Uh, for example, soil borne diseases were also affected by climate change because of course if you don't have source of water, you have to wait for the rains to come. And of course the market is there, supply, people are expecting for you to supply. Her new approach integrates fish ponds and chicken rearing with hydroponic vegetable production. Each component feeds into the other, creating a sustainable cycle. So we're doing integrated uh, system whereby um, my interest is on uh, the, the vegetables as well as the keeping of fish. And actually, we're integrating the system by putting up uh, chicken. So we have the keeping of fish, vegetables, as well as chicken. The chickens provide waste that becomes food for the fish. In turn, nutrient-rich water irrigates the vegetables, cutting out the need for chemical fertilizers. When we talk about uh, these integrated aquaponics, I may say it's a way of uh, sustainable farming because you realize that some of the consumables, uh, once you have the initial setup of the system, some of the consumables will be probably the seedlings when you want probably to transplant. Keeping of fish and chicken, you realize that the poop that comes from the chicken is very nutritious too to the fish, so they normally consume it. And then of course the fish water is also very nutritious when it comes to plants because it has some of the minerals that plants need. So uh, you realize that I may not need to have uh, use of fertilizers because already the fish are producing for me the fertilizers. The system not only guarantees higher yields but also saves our time and money. I may say with this technique of farming, I have realized that I'm saving on a lot. Like I said, I'm not needed in my farm on daily basis because this hydroponic system, you only water once a week. And by the way, my unit, I necessarily don't have to come back after a week because they have automated the system. And with this automation, I, I don't need to use uh, electricity. I can as well use solar. With automation and renewable energy, Monica's integrated farm offers a glimpse into the future of sustainable agriculture. It is a model she believes the other smallholder farmers can adopt to secure food and income in the face of climate change. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm.